Well, YouTube, I have my first fuse pop. So after that last load test, the one that failed because I wasn't around and I didn't have a camera to record anything. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the load test when I can be here the entire time. How about that? So anyway, while I was replacing all the, the fuses on the positive end, I figured I would give just a quick glance over the rest of the glass fuses just to see if there's any more broken. I didn't even think about them being popped, but I found one and of course I don't know why it's bad so I'm also going to show you how easy it is to replace a cell in my own DIY cell holder but let me show you the popped fuse first all right so there is the first ever fuse pop that I well at least that I've noticed so now that I have found one I'm gonna take a look at all of them just to make sure what's funny about this is this was one of the higher voltage packs so I almost didn't even look at it, but now I'm gonna go through and look at every single one. Let's do it. So there I was, you know, minding my own business and I just happened to see you, you little fuse popper you. So we will pull this guy out. I'll, I guess I'll just test him to make sure, see what the problem is, to see if the capacity has gone or maybe I just killed it doing a load test. I'm not exactly sure, but I will show you how easy it is to remove a cell from a DIY pack like this. And this right here is the exact reason why I wanted to do this. But sure, if you are using the black cell holders and you do have a bad battery all you have to do is break off the little tabs on either the top or the bottom and slide the cell out but that only works if all of your cells are nice and clean if you took the time to clean all the crap off of them all right and let's say you did not remove all the crap and you still want to get that cell out of there but it will not move you just have to cut the heat shrink and then pop the cell out through the heat shrink and then pull the heat shrink out and then replace the battery. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna check the voltage on this guy here. All right, so this pack is not fully charged yet. That is 3.78. And I'll just show you a couple examples of some good cells here. 3.78, 3.78, and then 0.947. So he is definitely low so I'm not exactly sure what the problem is but I'm glad I saw that little sucker in there these guys are definitely a little trickier to see but if you're looking you can see it all right well let's pull this guy out and then I'll put him on the the checker and I do have the capacity written on there so I'll do a capacity check on it to see where we're at All right, so this guy says he is 2,133. I'm gonna say he's a big fat liar. So I'm gonna put this guy into the TP4056 charger, and then after he's charged up, I'll put him in the Fox Novo and give him a little test run. I might have to bump charge him though real quick, so let me grab a cell for that. All right, I have a couple of these from a drill battery. I'll just use him. I'll set him there and you'll probably see it spark actually. All right, let me check and see if the voltage came up. It did, we're at 1.47 roughly. I'm probably not getting a very good contact because of the solder. I'll leave him on there for a few more seconds here. All right, well actually I might be able to just throw him right in the Fox Novo right now. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. But first, let me take a selfie. But I gotta change these guys out first. Yay. Put them in my pile over here. Hey. It's overloading. Oh, those are some low boys there. 2449. Okie dokie, let's see if it'll start charging right now. It says we're at 1.2 oh, volts now. And we're done, we're capacity checking right now. Okay, so we're done capacity checking now, and we are, oh, we can't even see that, can you? It says one, and a voltage of 1.98. So I'm gonna put them in a TP here. 
I'll leave them in there and if he gets full charged, I'll throw them in here. See what we got. But since I'm here, you know, I keep hearing a lot of people say that the Opus chargers are awesome, but lately what I've been seeing is there's nothing but problems with those. I mean, is that a real thing? Are people having that many problems with the Opuses of it not doing what they're supposed to be doing? I've ran over, I don't know how many cells through here, a bunch, and I haven't had any problems with these whatsoever. Fox Novo is the shit or Digital Charger 4S, because I think there's another brand name that you can get the same thing for. All right, so that is a 2133. So I need to find something that's pretty close to that in this pile of mess here. Wish me luck. Oh, 2142. That's close. What did I say? 21 what? 33. Okay, well, I am not gonna sit here and look through all those. I'm gonna use a 2142 instead. I need to get a bigger box. All right, well, I didn't want to look through all of that, so I found one close. It's 2142. I think that'll be perfect. And this is one of Keith's orange heat shrink wraps, and it looks great, especially if you like orange. Check the voltage of it real quick. We are, oh yeah, we're four or something. Oh, that might be close enough. We might pull some power out of this. We'll see, because these are all 3.7 something. Pop you right in there. All right, I am going to just see if this fuse is gonna pop since it's full charged and the rest is 3.7 or something like that. Doesn't look like it. Cool. draining. I don't know, I'm gonna leave the leads on here just in case I have to change that fuse because if it's drawing close to the two amps I might be ruining that fuse. So I'm gonna leave these long until the rest of the pack comes up or this cell comes down to the rest of the pack voltage and then I'm gonna replace this fuse. But that looks about it. I got those changed to the other wire so they are nice and sturdy. I just have to put the fuses on this side. Done. Now the fuse is not hot or anything like that. All right, there we go. I'll go put him back into service and once the, that cell equalizes, I'll probably change that fuse. All right, well, it is a few hours later and this guy is finally charged. So I'm gonna throw him in the Fox Novo and we're gonna see what the capacity is so i will add that hopefully here whenever it's done hope it's still close to that and maybe i'm i'm almost wondering if maybe whenever i capacity check this 
I was probably here whenever it was done and I pulled it out and never put it back into the TP4056 to get charged. I think I probably just threw it in the, the bin over there as 2133 as a dead battery. So it could have been dead whenever I installed it and I just missed it at the beginning. I don't know, maybe I'll test it a few times, maybe I won't. Actually, I might as well since it's out. So I'll do a couple capacity checks on it and see if it's at least close to the 2133 milliamps and go from there so I'll let you know here in a few minutes all right the cell is done being capacity checked let's see what it says well we can't really see that very well but it looks like it says 2022 so I don't know what do we think I don't know 2000 22 what do we think do we trust it should we do it again I'll write uh, I'll write on there Underneath the other one, I'll put 2022 and I'll test it again. Let's do that. All right, it's on there. I'm gonna reset it here. Done. All right, test number two. All right, so I still have to take apart more of the packs. I just didn't get any more time this weekend to do the rest, but if you guys think of any other something else I should do with that, should I test it a few more times to see what happens? Should I throw it out, cut it open? What do you want me to do with it? What, what should I do with it? Put your comment down below. I don't know, so yeah, I've had my first fuse pop and of course I changed shirt because it's a different day and it's in the dirty clothes and I only have one. Yeah, first actual real fuse pop. I'm not 100% sure if it's the cells problem or if I just forgot to recharge it after the first capacity test. I kind of, I'm kind of leaning that way because it was so low. The pack has never been that low before. So I'm, I'm thinking I just didn't check it whenever I built the pack. It probably popped as soon as I soldered it on and I just didn't see it. It popped that fast. That's the only thing I can think of. Whether that happened or not, I don't know. Although, I could technically, I recorded every single pack being built. I just never put a video out for them because who wants to see 14 of the same packs being built? If you do, let me know and I'll make a new video with soldering of the packs. But I think there's one pack that I did not get to record and it better not be that one. I, I also have each pack labeled a number on the back of each one of those packs. So I could go back and look at the number on there and I might be able to find the video in it and maybe I could see when I solder that cell if it pops right away. Or, 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 or maybe the fuse was already popped. M maybe... <laughs> Maybe I tested that fuse in a previous video and it somehow magically got put back in the bag. I don't know, there's just too many variables, I don't know. But alright, so I'm gonna continue looking through those packs and I will let you guys know if I find any more that are popped and then we can come to a, a big conclusion of why it failed, I don't know. But I think, I think that cell is from one of the medical packs. I think it was one of the purple ones that I got, a purple cell. Purple or green? Purple. I think it was a purple one because the top of it is has a black ring on it. I think all the green ones I had, I don't remember what the top was of those, but I'm pretty sure it was a purple cell. Most cells that I did get out of those medical packs were awesome. I don't know. I'll test it again or however many times you guys think I should test it to call it good or bad or just throw it away or maybe blow it up. Maybe that's what we'll do is we'll just blow it up. We'll short it out and see if it blows up. Yeah, I'll uh, continue checking the rest of the packs and then doing the swap and cheese piece for the fuses on the negative side and then the copper wire on the positive side on the positive end of the pack. And that should take care of all the broken fuse problems I have been having. That's all I got. I'll see you on the next one. And <laughs> to, um, um, <laughs> um, and, 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 ugh, and then, um, uh, but I'll, sh and, oh, I should probably pre-solder it. Eh, fuck it. If it's drawing more than, we'll say, two amps, well, I can't draw more than two amps, because that's when these pop, or they, and never put it back in the TP4050, in the 2200, this, um, and,
of course I re um, I don't I don't know how I just got really lucky and I've got like eagle eyes sometimes to replace a bad cell in a DIY cell holder like I made put your comment down below all right let's uh but first let me take a selfie 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 but first let me take a selfie but I'm pissed